God bless you. Well, we're out here today seeking God. Peace in struggle. Praising God for everything we do. Looking to the Lord for our strength and our portion. For our portions in Him. You see, we have to seek God and not ourselves. To trust in Him and our hardship. And it's Christ that works in us that we can overcome what we go through. So I'm sitting today because I thought it would be wiser to sit than for me to go randomly walking again. And this way I can actually be in the Word and I can open my Bible and read scriptures with you. So I'm currently looking at verse 14 in the book of Proverbs. And I'm in verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. The evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. You see, sometimes we need to stop. You have to think about what's being said and what's being done. You have to test everything with scripture. And you have to think, is it of God or is it not? What was the lesson? What do I learn? You see, as children, it's God that scourgeth. He punisheth his children to chastise them because he loves them. So they can learn from the lesson they're given. But it's up to a child to heed instruction. It's up to a child to take correction and reproof. So that they can get right. And to shake off the chaff of what the lesson was about. Sometimes God will give you a blessing and you don't even know it. And the blessing is a lesson. Learn from the lesson. Do not be wise in your own eyes. But seek God to direct your path. He will lead you in paths of his righteousness for his name's sake. It's up to us to test everything in our lives. We have to look at things. Is it good or is it wicked? Are we proud or are we humble? Are we wise in our own eyes? Are we departing from evil or considering evil? What are our plans? Are we prudent? Are we inheriting folly? Or are we seeking God for his wisdom and his knowledge? I don't ask for power nor position nor wealth nor riches. It's all dross to me. Whatever years I have on this earth, I pray they're only used to do good and nothing else but. I don't even care what day it be for the last as long as I'm faithful. I have no hunger in the world because my desire is for the kingdom to come, not for this. I've lived in all of this and I have no taste for it. It's bitter in my mouth, makes me sick to my stomach. The flesh is weak and it's always going to battle with your spirit. The spirit wants God and all the things thereof. All I want to do is sit down and talk about Jesus. All I want to do is read and talk about the gospel. I don't want to think about the past. I don't want to think about the flesh. I don't want to think about the life before. It means nothing to me. You see, I'm not looking to be the dog that goes back to his vomit or the pig that goes back to the mire after his washing. And sometimes those old struggles and temptations may come back. You may think unto something that's actually flesh-based and remember, don't trust the heart is desperately wicked. Oh, not now, Lord, my heart. Dear, oh dear. So, with these things... And knowing that our heart's desperately wicked, see, it pinches you when you don't want it to, (laughs) just like then. And it's like, this ain't the time. Because greater is he in me than the prince of this earth. And we crucify the flesh daily. We pick up our cross daily. We follow Jesus daily. He is the example. He is who we should have been to who we actually are. And that's why we deny self and pick up our cross. To live Christ-like the Christ-centered life, the crucified life. Jesus first, more of him, not me, less of me and more of God. That God be glorified in me, not because of me, because of the greatness of him in me. 
He that leadeth, I take no glory, all is his. There's no wisdom in me. It's all God's. Make yourself as humble as possible to help all, to care for all, to be kind unto all. Have no pride nor arrogance. Remember, it was Jesus that stopped to speak to a woman at a well and she was a Samaritan. The disciples had gone off and he was there alone and spoke to her and gave her words. And it was his words that led her to call out that she had found the Christ. And all came and they found Messiah. And they all came to faith. He did not consider, oh, this, this mixed person or anything like that because there was ill will. You see, the Jews had no dealings with Samaritans for they were mixed. There can't be no pride on us over anyone. There's neither male nor female, nor Jew nor Gentile. For all are one in the body of Christ. When all you do is see a person that needs the word of God and you share the word of God, you do not consider anything but God. And if the word of God can help a person at the foot of the cross, then you share it. The flesh has no place in it. And if it does, that's chaff that needs shaking off. So ask God to shake it off. Ah, we pray for the scourgings and the refiner's fire to make us ever more fit for purpose for use. You see, if the vessel is dirty, it needs a good old cleaning. If it's not fit for purpose, we can't use it. It's no better than a rusty spoon. And a rusty spoon cannot do what it is meant to do. It's covered in rust. And it will not work correctly. And if it's got no use, cast it out. Here's a lesson. Have no part of such. Oh, this world is desperately wicked. And it is the devil who is desperate to accuse you, to tempt you, to try you. But stand in Christ, stand steadfast, stand bold in the Lord. And seek the answers of the Lord. Because there is an issue in man. A man will look and see himself as good in his own eyes. But it's God that will weigh the heart. He will look in a person and see where they are. Seek out God and his righteousness. Do not see yourself as right. Because you can end up sitting on a throne of wickedness and not even know it. We are to humble ourselves before our God and Creator and Savior. We are to be faithful unto death. If your eyes are tempting, you close them. There is nothing that should get in your way in your walk with Christ. Oh, the wind is picking up and my pages are blowing. Praise be the Lord. Sometimes we go through hardship. Sometimes you may go through strife. But the power of the tongue can start a fire as easy as put one out. And it is easy to offend, especially in this day and age. But God has control of all. And we, we seek God and we bless as he says to bless. To love as we are told to love. Two great commandments. Love God with all your heart, mind, body, spirit and soul. And the second like it. To love your neighbor as yourself. To treat everyone as you want to be treated. To do to everyone as you would want done to yourself. Be at peace with all. Hold no contention with any. Love and forgive. Be at peace in Christ. And be bold in the Lord. He will give you strength. He will guide you and show you the way forward and what way to go. Seek to God for instruction. Keep the commandments. He will give you life and peace. His mercy is there. Confess, repent and turn from all sin. Trust in God with all your heart. And don't lean on your own understanding. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Acknowledge God and ask Him to direct your path. So don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear God and depart from all evil. Let him be your strength. Let him be your portion. Be happy in the Lord and seek his wisdom. 
and not the wisdom of the world. Do not seek to wealth and riches of earth, they gather dust and dross and rot. But seek unto the wisdom and the riches of God. A loving heart, peace, love, joy, compassion, kindness, decency. Focus on the good things, have self-control, be long-suffering with one another. Treat everyone as yourself. Those that test you and try you, stifle your tongue so you do not speak, it is safer. If you feel the rage upon oneself, calm oneself and pray for peace. If you feel sadness, oh, call out to God, oh, why so downcast, oh, my soul? Look up and praise the Lord. If you are one who struggles with the lust and all those things, well, put your hands up to God and praise Him and not down in your pants. Leave alone that salami and don't you dare be flicking that bean. Trust in Christ to keep your path straight. Because remember, God knows all and sees all. So think about what you do before you even consider to do it. And say, God, why does my flesh seek and desire such? Be aware of all weaknesses and have no consideration of them. See? There are those that make themselves eunuchs for the kingdom's sake. For those that have such strength, so do. I'm not telling you to physically. We're talking about those that have the self-control. Those that even if you walk down a road and someone walks past you inappropriate, or maybe it's the gym, you know where not to put your eyes. Seek the things above, not the things beneath. You understand? This world's trying to teach everyone to tempt each other at all times. Do not partake. Same as people with their social experiments and their pranks. They try to justify doing mean things to people, to stress or bring fear or to do inappropriateness. Everyone is prideful in their own eyes, looking for their minutes of fame. It's all dross, it's all worthless. I'd rather be in the middle of nowhere with no one to consider me nor look at me, but just have peace in Christ. If I can just sit down with the Bible and read and pray, that's my portion. And that's more than enough for me. The more I do, and the more you will do as you grow, the more spiritual warfare you're going to come through. It's like the pilgrim's path. You've got to walk through all the hardship. Or just like in the removed verses of Esdras, there has to be refinement. There's got to be purification. Oh, you got to cry at the foot of the cross and call out to God, save me, I can't do it. And trust in Him to remove those things. Sometimes you go through trials and hardships. Some, some are addicted to alcohol, some drugs, some smoking. Well, you go to God, I can't do it alone. And I don't want to do it, but I need you to help me do it. And I tell you this, every time you feel that temptation, you give it to God and you pray, and that temptation will go. If that temptation comes back in 10 minutes, pray again. Another 10 minutes, pray again. If you go pray 100 times in one day, then the answer is pray. Even if you got to do it 100 times. Trust in God and keep seeking. Remember, resist the devil. And he will flee from you. But it's up to you to keep resisting. It's up to you to keep praying. It's up to you to keep seeking. To keep asking. That's the original Greek. The word keep was there. To keep asking. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. English translation has lost a little bit. So we don't see it. But you know what? Perseverance builds patience. You see, just like Paul said, I've learned to be content in all situations. I'm content wherever I am as long as I'm with God. I don't want the world, I want the Lord. I don't want anything getting in the way of that. I don't want nothing distracting that. And neither should any of you. God first. Less of me, more of you. I diminish that you be glorified, that you be magnified. Praise be the Lord. Praise be God most high, our strength, our courage. 
because for whom the Lord loveth he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. And happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. You see, it's far greater than silver or gold or any other gain you could ever have. More precious is wisdom than anything this earth could give. You could be a king on a mountain of gold, but it's all garbage. Because you could have no wisdom whatsoever and waste it. Put it upon worthless things. It's like my small ministry. Fear God and seek him to guide you and where to go and who to help. And he'll always lead you to him. It's how I'm able to get Bibles to those that need them. Sleeping bags to those that are cold. Food to those that are hungry. Coats and clothing and shoes to those in need. Tents and so forth. It's not about me. I don't know what I'm doing. God does. He knows what's needed and who needs it. So it's surrendering yourself in your day to day and in your ministry if you are so led. God help me to do good for your kingdom this day. Help me to reach someone you want me to reach. Help me to do good for you. That I'm faithful to you and it's not about me. Anything I've ever done isn't about me. I'm not important. I'm just doing as I ought to be doing. No more, no less. I don't deserve thanks nor praise. I'm just doing as I'm meant to. Remember the two sons and the one said he wouldn't do it? And then the other son said he would do it but didn't. Well, you know what? That first son that said he wouldn't do it, he fought better with it and he went and did it anyway. He did as he ought to be doing. He might have grumbled, he might have struggled with it, but he fought better and he did as he ought. God will lead you in his path and he'll bring you peace. His ways are a tree of life, fountain of water, bubbling up. They'll bring you peace and joy in Christ. You can overcome all this if you seek God. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those that sin and transgress against us. Pray you bless them and help them. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and all the glory. For all is yours, O Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. O Lord, pour the Holy Spirit upon us all. Fill our cups that they overflow. That we can overflow upon others. That we can be a beacon of hope, a beacon of light to those in the dark. That your light shine upon us and guide us and strengthen us. That your love be there for each and every one of us. That we can stand faithful and endure all this hardship that is upon us. For we pray to God and we sing unto thee. We rejoice in you and seek your kingdom. Oh, may we all stand faithful and endure and persevere to the end. Oh, may we be thankful in scourgings and tribulations and trials. Oh, may we be built in all perseverance, strengthened and fit for every good work, that we can live as you would have us live and be as you would have us be, that we be the potter's vessel that you build and mold into your design, that we can be pleasing and not your lamentation, that we be your joy and not your sadness, forgive us where we fall short, and lead us in your paths of righteousness. Hallowed be thy name, amen. This world's always gonna try and confuse you. It's always gonna try and pull you off the path. And there are gonna be those that are embittered, those that will try to twist, those that will try to deceive. Pray for them, that God bless them and help them, so that they can be led unto the paths of righteousness, that they can come unto godly sorrow and repentance and seek unto the Lord most faithfully. There's a great battle out there and it's increasing. More and more people are going through trials and tribulations. More and more people are struggling. But my portion is the Lord and I want no more than. So I will seek unto him and tell you all to seek unto him also. 
to be strengthened in him, joyous in him every step of the way. Praise be the Lord every day of your lives. May you be joyous in Christ. God bless each and every one of you.